Hi and welcome to Asian Photography's YouTube channel. My name is Bhavya Desai and today we're going to continue our series of exclusives. If you remember, just about a month back, we had reviewed the Panasonic GH5 and given it a stellar rating and selected it as one of the best cameras to shoot video for the year 2017. And there has been a lot of speculation following that that there's something new that the manufacturers might launch. In fact, most of us have been wondering about what is going to happen and I'm happy to report today that this is India's first exclusive hands-on preview of the Panasonic GH5S. So I have with me the Panasonic GH5S which basically has just been released a few hours back and as we mentioned this is the first hands-on preview in India of the same. Now first things first it is a camera which seems a little bit lighter in terms of weight as compared to the GH5. We don't have the exact ergonomics and specs at this point of time in order to give you a clear bit but in terms of hand it seems a lot more firmer grip and slightly le lesser weight as compared to the GH5. So in terms of the design and first quick look, there's not much of a difference that we can find when it comes to both the cameras. If you see, in terms of the button layout as well as the other things, everything seems to be pretty much similar to where the GH5 was. But now, if you can see, there's a massive difference in terms of the colouring of what the record or video shooting dedicated button was. Gone is the dot which is basically there on the GH5 and this has been replaced by a completely full red color record button. Now this is similar to what smartphones of today are doing in terms of having a dedicated color on their sleep or awake button. Everything else on top seems to be pretty much the same. Also the mode dial button which is over here on the left seems to have a little bit of red color as compared to the same. In terms of the layout when it comes to the back of both the GH5S and the GH5 there's not much of a difference as you can see the layout and the customizable buttons including the mode dial and the joystick are very much same and there's not much of a change that has gone into this so before the launch the internet was abuzz with what the speculation and the megapixel count of the GH5S will be the GH5 which featured a 20.3 megapixel sensor has now stepped down to a 10.2 megapixel sensor when it comes to a GH5S now it is important to note that just because there's a step down in terms of the sensor, this does not mean that it's compromising in terms of quality. There's a reason behind why Panasonic has chosen to bring it a little lower. So the reason for the step down from 20.3 megapixels to 10.2 in the GH5S is so that the camera is able to record much bigger pixels as compared to before and that improves its overall ISO performance and low light quality. Now if you thought that the GH5 was really built to give you some amazing video quality and low light performance, then the GH5S takes this even further. For instance, it now features a dual native ISO which has analog to digital converting circuit that improves the ISO performance of the camera phenomenally. So one of the most important things is the bump up when it comes to shooting video at 4K. The GH5S is now capable of shooting cinema 4K at 60 frames per second which is higher than the GH5 which used to shoot it at 24 frames per second. Now it is very clear that Panasonic basically wanted to improve upon the features that it already provided with the GH5 and give something even better when it came to the GH5S. For instance, the camera is now capable of shooting Full HD 1080p at a whopping 240 frames per second as compared to what it used to be at 180 in the GH5. Also in terms of the ISO performance, the ISO is now bumped up from 28600 at the max to a 51200 in the GH5S and also expandable to a whopping 248000 if you really want to use it. 
In terms of the photo mode, the GH5S does not feature the 6K photo mode which used to be there in the GH5. Now it is able and capable of recording 4K at photo mode which means that anybody who used to use these time lapses for 6K photo mode in the GH5 will not be able to do it in this camera. But the 4K time lapses which we tested just now, they seem to be pretty decent. One of the most important updates that most of you who actually are content creators will really love is that the GH5S now comes with Vlog pre-installed in the camera. Now most of you might be knowing that the GH5 or if you're using a GH5 then Vlog was a paid upgrade by Panasonic which was there earlier. But now with the Panasonic GH5S this will be part of the whole bundle and will come pre-installed into the camera. So this was the first and exclusive hands-on preview of the Panasonic GH5S and we will be reviewing the camera in one of the upcoming issues and also making a video on the same so make sure that you catch that soon. And if you enjoyed this video then make sure that you like, share and subscribe to our channel because we'll be doing a lot more exclusive previews soon. Until next time, happy viewing.